Good morning everyone. How are you guys? I'm just making myself some muesli. Well, whatever's left over in our Tupperware. We'll go through this quite quickly because Grey now loves like birch and muesli. It's so easy. I literally just pour oats into a Tupperware, cover it with milk, whatever milk of choice. Although I find that I've tried it with oat milk because I like oat milk, but it makes it go a bit like claggy. I prefer it with skimmed milk. Um, a couple of dollops of Greek yogurt, splash of maple syrup, cut up apples and raisins, and that's kind of it. And then the next day, it lasts like two to three days, and it's delicious. Looking forward to filming today's video for you. I can't remember when this is going up, but I've been so busy with work. I always forget how busy this time of year is. There's a lot of like Black Friday stuff and Christmas stuff. I feel like I'm quite ahead with videos and that by the time you guys see this, we would have totally missed Rudy's birthday. So I wanted to give that a little mention because he is turning one this weekend, this Saturday. His birthday's on the 19th of November. And I just can't believe he's gonna be one. This year has gone by so quickly. It's been a totally different experience to when I had Grey. One second, hello? Hi, um, whilst I remember. Sorry, that was Rich phoning me to um, exchange cute stories about Grey. I can't remember what I was saying now, but it's just been a totally different experience. I feel like when you have your first, your whole life flips upside down, everything changes. Your body goes through the biggest change ever. Your life is different. You've never experienced love like it and it's overwhelming and terrifying and having your first kid is a lot, it really is. But having your second, although like logistically it's harder because you've got two, the body change has happened, the lifestyle change has happened. He doesn't need as much entertaining because he's literally got grey to play with. Like. It's just been a totally different experience and a really, really enjoyable one. I can't even imagine our family without him in it. He's such a little character. He's so charming. Like he literally makes people smile, makes them laugh whenever we go anywhere. He's so beautiful and I just love him so much and I can't believe he's gonna be one. So he's one on Saturday and then Rich's birthday's on Monday. They're two days apart. Obviously last year when I had Rudy, it was like I was in hospital. I'd say maybe I came home on Rich's birthday. I think I came home on Rich's birthday. So this year, it's the first year of experiencing having two birthdays in the family so close together and my sister has the same thing and she's like it doesn't get easier i just like i'm like ah oh, i don't know if i've done enough for rudy's birthday like obviously he's one he won't notice but gray's gonna notice so i want to get balloons and stuff i'm like have we done enough for rudy's birthday and then i'm like oh crap it's rich's birthday too like <laughs> it's just especially with how busy i am at work i just feel like i have not prepared for these birthdays at all i wish they were both born in a less busy month <laughs> So I think we're going to this like cute farm. Um, is it in St Albans? It's called Willow's Farm. It's meant to be amazing. I don't know why we haven't been before. All my friends have been and said it's great. Oh, sorry. I just noticed like the absolute mess on our decking from the build next door. Really hope that comes out. We're gonna go to Willow's Farm on Friday. And then we've actually got a friend's birthday party on Rudy's birthday, but it's like soft play. So that'd be cute. See some family. And then Rich's birthday, I think we're going to go to Soho. Um, we'll take Rudy with and he can do some shopping. Uh, we're going to a nice place for lunch that he's wanted to try for ages, so that'd be good. He just wants clothes, so I was like, let's go try on loads of clothes and buy you some clothes. Talking of clothes, I thought this video would be a good place to show you some new in bits some items in my wardrobe that I'm loving at the moment. This is my like favorite time of year for dressing and you guys have been very kind um, commenting on Instagram and stuff, like saying what you like about my outfits at the moment. So I thought that I would just show you some of the key pieces that I'm really enjoying in my wardrobe and I can link those down below. There's obviously a lot of like Black Friday sales and stuff coming up. So it's a good time to shop if you want to be shopping. I've also got a Missima code, they always do epic sales and this year, this year is the best one yet. It's the biggest discount they've ever done. It's so insane and I love Miss I love Miss jewelry. So I'm gonna be showing you some of my favorite pieces because I know it can be a bit overwhelming. So I'm gonna like do a little edit for you of my favorite pieces from Miss so that you can go and shop if you've had your eye on anything from there. Right, I'm gonna finish up breakfast, make myself a coffee and then I'll take you upstairs. Let me just pop on a little bit of lipstick. Okay, I've come upstairs to my office. It's pouring with rain, so if you can hear it and all the skylights, that is why. I always find it so hard to set up my camera for fashion stuff when it's 
landscape. Oh, it's so much easier doing like reels and TikTok portrait because it just lends itself to the shape of a body. I always feel like I have to be so far away. Anyway, that is not your problem. I want to show you some of my favorite bits from my wardrobe at the moment. And I want to start with these jeans. These jeans are from And Other Stories and they are the favorite cut. I really like the favorite cut. They're kind of straight leg. And these ones are in this gray color, which I did not realize I needed in my wardrobe until I got them. You know, sometimes you just don't want like a bright blue jean. It just kind of stands out too much in that outfit. This is a really nice way to wear jeans. It's a bit more like muted and toned down and I find these so easy to incorporate into my wardrobe. Let me bring my clothes rail closer. Actually, why don't I just put it here? So let me actually build an outfit with you now. You've probably seen this on my Instagram already because I think I did a little reel of this outfit. So this orange jumper is from Whistles. I love it. I love a little pop of color. Orange is obviously very like autumnal. This is really, really soft. I often get questions saying like, is that itchy? Anything that you see me wearing will not ever be itchy. I hate itchy knitwear, it's just the worst. So this, is a lovely jumper, it's kind of slightly boxy, it's got detailing on the arm. Um, really, really soft and yeah, I love, love the orangey colour. I think when I was wearing this on my Instagram, I was wearing it with my kind of heavier and other stories kind of walking boots. But let me put it with my Converse, I think just a pair of black Converse, these are the Chuck 70s, it's so handy to have in your wardrobe. They go with so many things, you can wear them like all year round pretty much. So I really like how the jeans, I've rolled them up once and they just kind of sit really nicely over the Converse. And I like the orange with the grey. I'm going to pop on this coat. I'm starting with a very kind of weekend outfit for me. This, I don't know, will this be controversial? I think I've shown this when I bought it, I asked your opinion. I really like it, it's from Mango and it's like, uh, do they call them fisherman coats or did I make that up? It's got a brown cord collar, tartan lining inside and then this like really nice like pukey yellow color, which I just really like because I feel like it's quite different. Kind of feels beigey but but isn't. It's got a hood. Honestly, this is like the perfect, if you go dog walking, I feel like this is the perfect dog walking coat. I like it because it's it's kind of waterproof. I mean, actually, it probably isn't waterproof. I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. I don't think it's waterproof, but it's, it's like a really heavy weight. It's got a zip. These like massive pockets. And I just love that it's long because then for me, it still feels kind of like stylish at the same time. This is just a very, very casual weekend outfit. I'm just trying to decide which bag. I'm obsessed with these Uniqlo bags. They went viral for a reason. It's the mini shoulder bag. I absolutely love it. I just find it so handy. If you're a parent, even if you're not a parent, I haven't put anything in it, but I'd probably just chuck that over the top. So that's one little outfit formula. I'm gonna change the jumper and I'm gonna put on this gorgeous gray cashmere from COS. The cashmere at COS isn't extortionate, you know, it's still COS prices, but it, it's a good price for cashmere and it's such good quality. I love, love this jumper. I love the detailing around the neckline. I love the shape of it. It's like slightly oversized, but not too long, like my H&M cashmere jumpers are a little bit too long. I think I'm gonna change the jeans and put on some um, blue jeans. These are the Arquette stretched crop. They're a really nice jean. They have got a slight stretch to them, which I like, otherwise it's just too uncomfortable. Although I have size down in these. And I'm still in between sizes, so I feel like they're slightly on the tighter side for me, but they fit nicely and I love the shape of them. Okay, let me just change. For some reason, these ones always show way more blue on camera than they are in real life but they are kind of mid-tone blue. So this is what these jeans look like. And then I love wearing a gray jumper, blue jeans, and white trainers together. These are my Veja Venturi. that are just so comfortable. I wear them all the time. I probably should give them a bit of a clean. That is what it looks like. So pretty casual still. My style is quite casual, you know. But if I then pop on this coat, this is from and other stories, it's navy blue. I don't think I've ever had a navy blue coat before and I didn't realize how much I missed one in my wardrobe until I got one. It's a wool coat, really nice and long. I always look for long coats, I'm 5'7". And it's got this kind of robe detailing. 
that instantly changes the outfit. I love it. I'm obsessed with this whole outfit at the moment. I'm wearing it just on repeat. Again, I would probably put on one of these bags, maybe the kind of taupey shade. This is one of their newer colors for the Uniqlo mini shoulder bag. So I'd probably chuck that on. Love that. I feel like this is the sort of outfit that could definitely do with some jewellery. So let me tell you about Missima's Black Friday deal this year. I feel like it's really weird that I'm bending down but also I don't want to move the camera because then it's going to be really hard to get it back into this position. Oh wait, I could just take, I could just take this guy off. Ah, there you go. <laughs> wow, you'd think I'm new to this. So here's the deal. For the first time ever, Missima are doing 30% off their entire website. So they usually have done 20% in the past. This year is 30%. That is so mega. So if you're buying for yourself or if you're buying for someone else, this is such a great time to get your purchases in. Here's the info you need to know. The 30% off is live until Monday the 28th of November. So I hope you guys have been making your wish lists and getting ready because now is the time. I have been obsessed with ear styling recently. Is that what you call it? Putting on loads of earrings. Um, I've got, what have I got? I've got three holes in this earlobe, two here, one up here and also I love wearing ear cuffs which you don't need piercings for. So the earrings that I've got in right now, these are the ones that I wear probably the most. Let me just take them out and show you. These are the mini tunnel hoops and these are so, so wearable. They're so easy to pop in, they look so nice on. This is a kind of size, so slightly bigger than a huggy. Can you see? Slightly bigger than a huggy but also more, a little bit more of like a an earring, you know? So I often pop those in the first hole. Let me just take out this earring. This is the one I love to put in my third hole. These are the Trio Stud earrings and I absolutely love these because they kind of, can you see how they kind of curve? So they, they curl really nicely kind of up your ear. I'm gonna have that in my third hole. I'm gonna have a couple of the single chubby huggies which are just really lovely simple gold huggies. I'm gonna have those in my second hole and then I think I'll show you this outfit with the mini tunnel hoops. Let me go do that because I need to look in a mirror to put earrings on. In this ear, mini tunnel hoop, single chubby huggy and the trio studs. And if I turn it like that, you can see it kind of just climbs up my ear and it looks so nice. And then on this side, I've just got the mini tunnel hoop and single chubby huggy. I love it. I love how they look. So with this kind of outfit, that is the styling that I would do. If I was feeling particularly earringy, I could also add a cuff. This is the chunky claw cuff. It is so nice. And like I said, with cuffs, you don't need to, um, you don't need to have your ear pierced, which is really nice because not everyone has a piercing. So you can just kind of pop that on and that can just sit there on the edge of your ear. I love cuffs. I'm really, really into them at the moment. Let me show you another top that has been working very hard in my wardrobe. Um, these are the ribbed long sleeve tops from Arquette. I think you just can't go wrong with stripes. And this has been really handy for wearing with jeans, also with black trousers. Let me put it on quickly and show you. I've just left it untucked. It's actually super, super long, but I would probably ruche it up or tuck it in. I'm actually gonna show you what this looks like with my um, black Arquette trousers. because I think it looks really nice with these. These, um, these are still in stock. For a while I couldn't figure out what the name was, but then I went in the store and I saw them and I was like, oh my God, they do still do them. I thought they'd stopped. These are the best trousers. They're a jersey trouser. They've got stretchy waistband, which I love. And they're super kind of wide leg and loose, but they look really great, like dressed up or dressed down. So let me pop these on to show you what the striped top looks like. So with these, I would probably tuck the top in. And I just think it looks so nice with the black trousers. With these, I probably wear my Converse and I quite like how the monochrome top and the shoes go together. But I also recently picked up these. These are from Vagabond. I got them from Office and they're a uh, loafer. I know they're very like school shoe vibes. Very 90s, very kickers if anyone was around then. Slightly, slightly less of a chunky sole. Oh my God, I'll never forget when my dad, my mum wasn't well and my dad took me to get school shoes and I convinced him to let me get these kickers that had like a massive chunky heel. <laughs> My mum was furious but I loved them. I don't know what these look like. I haven't tried them with the trousers. I really like them with jeans but let me just put them on with the trousers and see if this works. 
definitely like different for me. I can't really see. I can't really see, but I think they could work if I wanted to smarten it up. I definitely prefer these shoes when you can see the top, like with jeans. I think that looks really cool. I feel like I could have a necklace moment right now. There are so many necklaces I love. I've laid them out here to show you guys. I always like to recommend the double chains from Missima just because I think it's kind of like a two in one. You're getting such a good deal. And also it makes necklace layering so much easier. If you're not really sure like how to layer up your necklaces. I mean, you're already getting started with two here. This one is the box link double chain. It's got these little like box link. Can you see? I love it so much. So I'm gonna pop that on and that will kind of get get things started. That looks really nice. I think I'm also gonna put this one on, which I have like a guilty pleasure for. When I saw this, I was like, is this me? Is this not me? But I'm really into it. It's the share, it's called the share the love necklace. It says love and I just think it's so sweet. So I can put that on. Oh, I really like how those look together. I'm gonna to change my top so I can show you the necklaces better. Absolutely love this brown knit from And Other Stories. It's one of their half zip jumpers. So I really love this because obviously if you're wanting like a bit of a higher neck, you can do that. And if you want to show off your lovely layered necklaces, you can just zip it down. So I've got the love necklace, the double chain, and I think it would look amazing to layer a longer one as well. So I've got a few to pick from, but I think I'm going to go for the Lucy Williams large horn. This is a classic Missima necklace. Everyone has wanted this and it really does get good wear in my jewellery wardrobe. I wear it a lot. It just seems to go with everything. So this would be a very highly recommended one from me. Got a couple of length options. I think let's give this one a go. I'm going to go one shorter. Oh, I just think that looks so nice. I really like this love necklace. I feel like I'm going to wear this a lot. This is a new one for me. So I've got the large horn, the double chain and the love and I just think they look so nice layered together. I'm keeping on the earrings I've got because it's a little bit more minimal. I feel like there's another outfit where I could put on a bit more of a statement earring. I will link all of these necklaces down below. Let's pop you back on the tripod. I actually don't hate like a baggy jumper with baggy trousers. I know it's all very like loose, but I kind of like the vibe, but I'm gonna put some jeans back on. I'm gonna put on the And Other Stories favorite cut, but in the blue denim. So I've got these in the blue denim and I've got them in the gray. And then I think I'm gonna put on, I don't know. Let's see. I love this cardigan so much. This is from Whistles. It's also cashmere. There's so many things I love about this. Obviously the quality is amazing. I love the large collar and the buttons. I just think it's, a little bit different. I think the collar makes it, I hate that word, elevated. But it makes it a little bit more special. That's what I'm gonna say. So this actually looks really nice with the necklaces, but let's switch things up. I'm gonna take off the large horn necklace and I'm gonna take off the love necklace. So I'm just left with the, with the double chain and I'm gonna take out the mini tunnel hoops and I'm gonna pop on the mini chubby hoops. These are Oh, I just love these. They're not heavy, but they're also not too light. They're a really good like medium weight actually. I wear these all the time if I want a little bit of a statement, but I don't want, you know, I don't wear like big dangly earrings. I used to, oh my God, at uni. Uni, I used to wear like big green dangly earrings. So I'm just popping those in my first hole. How nice. Oh my gosh, excuse that spot. I've tried to cover it. How nice are they? Oh my gosh, I love them so much. I wear them all the time. I hope you can't see down my top. And look how nice it looks with the cardigan. I pretty much exclusively wear gold jewellery. My watch has like two tones in it, so I can mix it up, but I'm really into gold at the moment. So I think that looks really nice. I think the loafers look nice with this outfit as well. And then I could chuck on this coat, have a bit of a smarter bag. This is the Arquette bag. I feel like the black shoes and the black bag. Wait, can you see my shoes? Let me just like tilt you down a little bit more. The black shoes and the black bag go nicely together. Earrings make it a little bit smarter, as do the shoes. Even though I'm wearing jeans, it's not like too, too casual. And then I think I've got one more thing I really wanna show you. I bought these from Cos the other day, and they're pinstripe navy blue trousers. I've got them in the size 14, which is what I've kind of been since having Rudy, but I think I'm a, kind of almost a 12 again now. So I think I'm gonna go and try on the 12 and see if they fit me. I just don't want them to be too tight around my thighs. So um, let me try them on and show you. So they do 
do fit and they've got a drawstring inside that I could tighten. I just don't want to regret getting them in this size if they end up too big. But I do like the kind of oversized fit. I like that they're navy, I like their pinstripe. I don't know, I can't decide whether to keep these or not. I need to go try on the 12, but I think if I remember correctly, I think I did try on the 12 and they were too small. So I'm not really sure. Do these look too big? Maybe they're okay. So they do seem a little big, but I just hate wearing things that are tight. This jumper, I also really wanted to show you. This is from Arquette and it's a cable knit, like cream jumper. I feel like this I'm wearing a lot. Really, really handy to have in my wardrobe. It's such a nice jumper. Really, really soft. Loads of people have asked if it's itchy. Not at all itchy. Just gonna take off the double chain necklace and I'm gonna pop out um, the chunky hoops. Although actually they go really nice with the cable knit. It's worth noting that whilst the sale is on, the whole site is 30% off. So even some of the classics from Missima, if you're into more of the chunky style, like these sort of necklaces are so gorgeous. I love all the chains that they do. I feel like this one, this one, I'm pretty sure this is the flat curbed trick chain i always say train instead of chain this looks so nice love that love where that sits and then have i shown you everything i feel like i've shown you everything the only thing i haven't shown you which i'm not going to put off is this fleece from arquette which looks so nice over leggings for like a casual day it's got this zip on the side that opens up which i really really love there's also a similar one in uniqlo if you watched my backstreet boys vlog my friend sj was wearing the one from uniqlo and uh, this one's from arquette it's got wide arms it's got a hood and it's got this side zip detail. I love it, I love it with leggings. It looks really nice, very comfortable. This is everything on the rail and it's a nice little kind of condensed autumn winter wardrobe. At the moment, I'm really happy with this like collection of clothes. And as you saw, it's quite easy to make quite a few different outfits from it. So I'll link all the items that I share down below. People always ask for my sizing. and I don't know how helpful that is. I'm normally like a 12 to 14 or a medium to large. I'll let you know if anything is like sized weirdly, but normally I kind of, I go oversized with things. But yeah, really happy with all of those items. I also wanted to let you know that Missima have partnered with Tree Sisters for the third year running. So for every, all order made, they will be planting a tree, which is amazing. I'm gonna make sure to link all of the Missima items that I talked about down below in the description box. So all of my favorites, so it's very easy for you to have a little browse and see what to pick from. 30% off is just epic. Honestly, it's amazing. Enjoy. I think I'm just gonna keep this cable knit jumper and chain necklace on because I really like the combo. Ah. Trouble has come up to my office. Why do babies love tripods so much? Come on, Rudy, practice your walking. Sit. Oh, no, there's a tripod there. Come on, Ready? you can do it. Ready? Stand. Oh. Stand up. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. Ready? <laughs> we need coffee. It's probably a bit late. It's like quarter to four, but I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I've got about an hour left of work, so I'm going to head upstairs and do some editing. I think I'll actually leave the video here because it's pretty long already, so thank you if you have watched it the whole way through. I really liked talking through some of my favourite clothes at the moment, and I hope you guys enjoyed that too. Obviously, everything that I mentioned will be linked down below in the description box, including all the Missima pieces, which I just love so much. They're so easy to wear and just like, you guys know I'm a massive fan of the brand. I will put the discount code for 30% in the description box with a link, and all of the clothes and items that I mentioned will be there as well. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you've had a great weekend, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.